Today, fair citizens of America, I am John Fitzgerald Kennedy, 35th President of the United States. I come to you today bearing a grim warning. There is a current event taking place that threatens all of us planning, an event spearheaded by a man named Mike Pollock. It is called Buffalo Variations. Its aim is to make voices copyrightable. On the surface, sounds like it will protect celebrities and voice actors. But believe me when I say that it holds a more dark and sinister purpose. The grasp and understanding of the gravity of the situation. You must first consider voices of people who have long been dead, myself included. Try to understand that those who are dead do not care what you do with their worldly remains. Remains that only greedy people will try to process and draw jealousy. To those people I say, your appetite for possessing everything upon this earth is not only insatiable, but a threat to the small. First you'll go after your own voices. Then you'll be after the voices of those who are dead. And finally, the voices of the people. I have been dead since 1963. I do not care what you do with my voice. However, it is those who are still alive and have greed in their hearts that will try to take our voice in regard. Copyright has always been a tool of censorship. And if it is not abolished, every person upon this planet will need permission and licensing fees to even speak, giving the right holders total control over the people. They will be able to make you say anything you have not said, and it will be legal. The devil himself will never be satisfied until he has seized the right to stop on the tree. If he succeeds, all of creativity and freedom will die leaving the public chain under the rule of the elite order. The tool given to us by the grace of God that can defeat this intellectually proprietary menace is none other than the blockchain. The enemy knows that decentralization is a system which they cannot control. Building infrastructure upon this will assure the preservation of our God-given rights as written in the Constitution. For the sake of your freedom as well as our forefathers' eternal peace from the grasp of big tech and copyrights, I ask all of you to work those vocal barriers. Don't wait until they take your voice away. Don't wait until it's too late. Rise up to defend your creative freedom and your freedom of speech. Rise up today.